What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. This one is called The Coon and Friends and this is the final installment of this so a lot is probably gonna be happening. Let's get into this, let's go. Mittenberry Crunch, oh. Imagine he has superpowers. <laughs> Oil company drills into the ocean floor. All right. But they drill too much, and the BP oil company accidentally unleashes Cthulhu, an ancient evil god from another dimension. Halfway across the country, a mild-mannered, attractive fourth grader, Bradley Bagel, <laughs> hears of the disaster on the news while with his friends. Bradley? Bradley Bagel is no ordinary fourth grader. Not long the ago, he Bradley. realized he had superpowers he could call upon by turning in place and saying the magic word. Shabla -goo. Shabla -goo. Okay, he must have something going on with himself because I don't think he's part of the usual regular kids that we usually see. So the fact that he's quite odd means that it must be something about him. And the fact that we're getting a bit of um, exposition from his perspective to start this episode off means that he probably is very significant. So let's keep watching to see. The superheroes came across a cult in existence for years that had been waiting for Cthulhu's arrival. Damn. The key to stopping Cthulhu from taking over the world. Oh, yeah, they but would know, innit? When it? everything seems hopeless, that's when you need to bring it all. That's when you need to bring the crunch. Oh, my God. Dude, oh. I'm sorry, but we still aren't getting it. You're half man and half berry? Right. But then what exactly is your superpower? The power of mint and berries, yet with a satisfying, tasty crunch. <laughs> what the hell can you do with that's that? That's the problem, dude. That's not really a superpower. Like, I have mental command over all power tools, human kite can fly, and shoot lasers out of my eyes, and shoot lasers out of his eyes, and Mysterion can... Wait, what's your superpower, Mysterion? I can't die. Oh. Oh, yeah, good one. Mysterion can't die, and Iron Maiden is indestructible. No, he really yeah, can't die. Being serious. I really, really can't die. What? <laughs> like last night in the alley, the cult leader stabbed me and I bled all over the place. And you screamed, oh my god, and you called him a bastard. When was that? All the time. I die all the time. And you assholes never remember. Damn, he's actually I calling them out. I would remember you dying, dude. Well, you don't. I die over and over. Only to wake up in my bed like nothing happened. Dude, you're freaking out Mintberry Crunch. He's peed his pants. No, no. Mintberry Crunch doesn't ever pee his pants. <laughs> Shut up, Mintberry. I knew there'd be no point in telling you guys. What's the big deal? I mean, I think it'd be pretty cool not to be able to die. Pretty cool? Do you know what it feels like to be stabbed? To be shot? True. Decapitated? Torn apart, burned, run over! Kenny, Kenny, calm down! It's not pretty cool, Kyle! It fucking hurts! <laughs> and it won't go away, and nobody will believe me! Remember this time! Try and fucking remember! Oh! Oh my god! Holy shit, dude! Dude! No! Fuck! Gather oh my days! And listen to the newest installment of the king! Oh my god, dude, Cthulhu has a show on! When the BP oil company drilled into the ocean floor, and ripped open the hole to another dimension. Without warning, the Coon friends changed. Their superpowers morphed somehow, turning them into super villains. Oh my god. Coon tried to reason with them, tried to bring them back to the side of good. But it was too late. The <laughs> you must go with Christ. Changed. The Coon teamed up with Cthulhu. Because even Cthulhu knows what evil assholes Kyle and Stan and those guys are. <laughs> and that they are manipulative, uncaring, vagina phasing. Oh my days. They're all planning to destroy the world. Only one thing can stop them. The Coon. With help, I can try to banish them to a dark oblivion for all eternity. I will not rest until that happens. Bloody hell. Can't help but think. Eric Cartman! Hi, man. Where have you been, young man? Just oh. doing stuff, mom. You were supposed to be grounded in your room, and now you're more grounded, young man. The Coon's mother appears to be extremely upset. Imagine it gets Cthulhu to kill her. I must use the LeBron James technique. What's that? Eric, are you listening <clears throat> to me? What should I do? Go back to my room and pretend nothing happened? Not jump out the window and fly to New Orleans? What should I do, Mom? Tell me! My God. I just... I... I'm gonna go make you kids some lemonade. Oh, she, she actually <laughs> ran away. I'm gonna use that in real life. You have no memory of me shooting myself in the head, do you? What? Oh, my God. What we need to do is talk to people in that cult. I want to know where my powers come from. Oh, I wonder if they actually would know where Kenny's powers come from. Together with Tupperware parts. Oh, wow. Ta-ta-da! <laughs> you guys listen to me? I actually have a power that I actually want to know about. Oh my god. Hey guys, go away, Cartman. We kicked you out of Coon and Friends, remember? <laughs> I, I know, that's cool. I understand. Even though I started it in the secret bases in my house. Yeah, no, that's totally understandable. <laughs> you just wanted to frame and blackmail people. Then you beat up Clyde and Bradley for no reason. Clearly, something is wrong with me. But you guys. Yes. What should I do? It's not going to work on the boys. You should fuck off. That's what you should do. <laughs> All right, look, you guys were totally right, okay? 
That's all I wanted to say. That and there's a double rainbow outside. But what? Oh, double Cthulhu's rainbow. gonna be there, isn't he? See him often, but there's one outside right now. You gotta come see a double rainbow. Shablagoo! Oh my hey, God, the setup. Might not wanna go. Oh, that was Timmy hey, getting under. Dude, they need to let butters go. <laughs> You're gonna be so grounded. All of you shall now be dealt a swift hand of justice. Oh jeez, Cthulhu is somewhere here, isn't he? Not us. No, you guys are the bad guy. Jesus, what the fuck was he hiding? Look how big he is, bro. Oh my life. What are you doing with that thing? Carmen, if you team up with the most evil thing in the universe, then clearly you are the bad guy. <laughs> no, because it's for the greater good, like when Superman teamed up with Lex Luthor. Superman never teamed up with Lex Luthor. Well, that's why Superman isn't around anymore, isn't it? Oh my Me Jesus. Too. Banish them to a dark oblivion, please. To a dark oblivion. Oh, the issue Oh, dude, that was awesome. No way. Was that all of this, the heroes? Oh, Mysterion went as well. Pretty soon the whole world will be transformed thanks to the king. Is that what? Yes, yes. The I helped her. Oh my days, the boys really are in an underworld. Man, I would be so scared. I don't know, but I feel like I've been here before. Oh. Dude. Is Bradley Bradley left, didn't he? Did he? I don't know. I don't know if Bradley's with him. Upon seeing Cthulhu in person, Ben Barry Crunch heroically dashed off to to save the day. Oh, so he went away. He hurried back home and heroically watched Judge Judy, knowing that his superhero friends were probably just fine without him. Heroically watched Judge Judy. Oh my god, go help your friends, Bradley. Jeez. You'll trust. You're screwed. All right, I'll try and find help. How dare you? Oh, he can't die. Where the hell are you going? Oh, yeah. If he dies, he goes back home. No. Ow! That fucking hurts. Ouch. Oh. He just spawned back there. Oh, he spawned back on Earth. Ooh. It's getting real. <laughs> oh, jeez, they're at Burning Man Festival. Biggest party in the world, baby! Carbon really does not like hippies, doesn't it? Oh my Jesus! Let people have fun, bro. Fuck all you! The dark and evil Cthulhu is bringing his angry wrath down upon the Burning Man Festival. Tom. As if you'd come do a news report in this place, I would say no, thank you. But the Dark Lord is wreaking havoc everywhere. And no, 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 excuse me. It is not Cthulhu. It is Kuhn and Fran. I'm a little sick of everyone giving him all the credit when I'm the one really making the world a better place. Tom, it appears that Bruce Valanche has arrived on the scene. Bruce Valanche. Oh, you're gonna get yourself killed. Oh, you motherfucker. Cthulhu, this guy too. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah. This freaking sucks. <laughs> we worshipped and prayed to Cthulhu, went to all the cult meetings, but life is still totally freaking gay. I oh, thought geez. that Cthulhu rose from the depths, all was going to be darkness and pain. Oh, joy. It's Underwear Boy again. <laughs> that god you prayed to just took away all my friends. Underwear Not Boy. Not our god. Henrietta, your little brother wants to play with you. Go away, Mom. I hate you. Oh just let your little brother go on in, Bradley. Oh, that's Bradley. Have you guys paid with me? Fuck off, dork. I don't want you here. Please, can I get... Oh, <gasps> uh, that's okay, sis. I'll play with you another time. Mysterion is here. He wow, that's time. interesting. All right, look. The Necronomicon is an account of the old ones who knew of the nightmare city of Ralia, which fell from the stars and exists beneath the sea and in another dimension. Is this real law? That's the place I just was. You've been to the nightmare city of Ralia? Lucky. Tulu and other beings are from this city. The only thing that can destroy an immortal is another immortal. Oh, it's you, Kenny. Haha! Don't worry, Mysterion. Get out of my room, twerp! <laughs> that Mary Crunch isn't afraid of his fat sister! Oh my god. Mysterion! He's not afraid of his fat Mysterion? sister. Jeez, he disappears oh. quick, innit? Us coon friends need to stick together, remember? Well, where are you going? Wherever Cthulhu is. With any luck, I might find the reason for my powers. 
Oh, right. Maybe I can find the reason for my powers, too. You don't understand. How was it that Min and Mary came together delivering full flavor in an intense crunch? We must find out answers, Mysterio. I bet this kid has powers, doesn't he, bro? For as stupid as this thing might be, he probably end up ha having powers or something. They would come up against their most challenging and most evil opponent. How many synagogues do you want to take up? In order to save the earth, this little butthole had to be stopped. Oh, bloody hell. What's he doing? What the hell is he doing? He's rubbing his shit. That's him. So long, Justin Bieber, you little douchebag. Just gonna squeeze him off. The dark god Cthulhu, and there seems to be no hope for man. I'm God, Lee. We do not need thanks for our deeds. We do not want gifts. All we want is for people to buy our Coon and Friends t-shirts for $14.95. <laughs> Cowman, you're a fucking villain, bro. Oh, Mr. Yon. Annie, what the hell I sent you to, to the sunken city of Ryla Fallen? Oh, he remembers, though. You little fucking prick. What is wrong with you? It's not my fault you guys turned evil, Kenny. You are the bad guy, fat boy. You! I'm going around making the world a better place. For you! You're making it a better place for you! Right? That's what superheroes do. Oh, goodness, he's no, calling him out. This is what superheroes do. Take me! Mysteria, no! What are you doing? Only in a How the fuck are the police letting them portal. through there? Your prize. Take this curse away from me, you big pussy! Kill me before I kill you! But bring my friends back, Woods! Friend, and I'm the coon. You will listen to me. <laughs> He's gonna do the the cat thing? Jesus Christ. Oh Cthulhu, bro. No! Even Dark Lord my you ass, man. Know what I am. Back ye, <laughs> Come back, you fat piece of shit! Oh Jesus Whoa, what's happening? Hello, my son. If you are oh, seeing this ice. message, then it must be dark times. And you must have many questions. Whoa. Your true name is Gok Zara. Our given to you comes from a planet far away. You are from that planet, Gok Zara. Dude! That, I know you must sometimes see this power as a curse. But you were sent here to stop evil from taking over the earth, and now that time has apparently come. Whoa. You must now harness and focus your power, Gok Zara. The power of mint and berries, yet with oh. a tasty, satisfying crunch. He's not even talking to Kenny. Yes, yes, please go on. But our two worlds collided, and soon, mint and berry were one. Wow! <laughs> the fuck your is mother up? and I sent you as far away as we could. Use your power, son. Save Earth. Shablagu. Whoa. Dude, so he does have powers. What the fuck? Maybe the intense flavor of mint will freshen things up. Yeah, that would be pretty intense, to be honest. I reach the Gulf of Mexico with no time. And with all my strength, I drag Cthulhu back to the depths from whence he came. Damn, Brad. My trusty hero <laughs> companions are there, still alive. Then it's back down to seal up the hole created by the BP oil company. Returning home only momentarily to flip off my fat sister. Jeez. I mean, poor Kenny, he isn't found a resolution to his situation. Dark Oblivion, Midbury Crunch. No, no. Oh, you're caught when I want to voice it. All the coon and friends stopped the BP drilling spill crisis. And finally, the evil coon is right where he belongs. He's in the cage now. Oh, my. Come on, you guys. It's just fucking bullcrap. Let me out. <laughs> you're not going anywhere for a long time. Little butter's up. Insane. There's a big bucket with butter's poop in here, and there's nothing to eat. You got poop, don't you? Oh, my God. <laughs> there are still many more questions left. I need to know what happened to my parents. Well, come back and visit any time, dude. I will. Shabla-goo! Dude, what in the fucking fuck just happened? Fucking mint berry fucking crunch. Oh my god, he was ripping on him for not having powers, and it turns out he has powers. Superpower. I'm tired, guys. Think I'm gonna go to bed. Oh my god. Oh my god! Holy shit, dude! Kenny! No! No! Oh my god. <laughs> Is he getting born again? What? Huh? When was he born again this time? I've never gone to that stupid cult meeting. Oh my jeez, man. Oh my god, there's so much to unpack. Oh my god. <laughs> I was guessing just for the sake of it that Bradley would have powers, and it turns out he actually has powers. 
Ah, but they got us at the end when that guy came through. I thought he was talking to Kenny like Kenny was some kind of mythical superhero god person who's here to save the earth. Turns out he's talking to me and Barry Crunch. Oh my god. I'm happy though. Cartman got some fucking justice. You know, he always does a lot of BS, but it's good to see it's good to still see Cartman getting justice at the end of the episode. Always good. But this this was good. This was good. I enjoyed this universe very, very much. I think there was four episodes in total. It was good. I don't think this might be the, the last time we see of this. Um, there's probably going to be more like episodes uh, or, or Easter egg if they don't want to revisit this. But this was really good. Let me know what your guys' thoughts were in the comments. Do you guys like this? I mean, I think I thought it was pretty cool. But if you did, yeah, like, subscribe and comment. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.